Recovery efforts are underway in lakes and rivers across the east. High bacteria levels have returned to normal following this storm. WNCT's Kara Gann has a breakdown of the initial testing results. Kara. Maria, high bacteria levels were something environmental specialists expected after the storm. Take a look at this photo from the nonprofit Sound Rivers. The sample on the left side of the screen was taken before the hurricane, and the sample on the right was taken after. The blue lit up samples on the photo on the right indicate bacteria found in the water after Dorian. Initial test results from Sound Rivers found high levels of E. coli. The bacteria found was found in every water sample location they collected. They tested waters along the Pamlico River in Washington, Port Terminal, in Town Common in Greenville and Mason's Landing at Trainers Creek. They also collected water samples from the tributary of Chacod Creek in Grimesland. Staff with Sound Rivers say high levels of E. coli are dangerous to your health and could potentially make you sick. After a hurricane, uh, it's an indicator of, um, you know, potentially runoff from some of these hog facilities or failing uh, septic systems or um, like sewage, sewage treatment plants. The Department of Environmental Quality also collected water samples of their own after Dorian. They initially placed advisories along coastal waters and the Noose, Pamlico and Tar Rivers. As of this past Friday, DEQ lifted those swimming advisories. Staff with Sound Rivers say according to their most recent testing results last Wednesday, those bacteria levels have decreased significantly in most of their sampling locations. The only location that failed though was the tributary at Chacod Creek. Caragan 9 on your side.